3 remodeling with square elements direct modeling express when we start working with square elements direct modeling express we see new ribbon user interface for modeling drafting and model manage embracing the microsoft office 2010 fluent project the Career elements express consists of file tab quick access toolbar ribbon from bar viewport work plane command mini toolbar context menu dialog box Oak and cancel tabs, browser bar, user input line, status bar, The file tab opens the file menu with the following comments New session, open, save, print, did file, render the file, settings, toolbox, search uh, for common recent files. The quick access toolbar provides quick access to frequently used comments. It can be customized by adding, removing, or reordering comments to it. The ribbon contains uh, comments organized the sets of tab. The um, default tabs are modeling tab, analysis tab, view tab and application tab. Click the more or less button on the right side of the ribbon to display the complete or reduced ribbon. Comments are placed within groups according to their function. Each button on the ribbon represents a comment and consists of an icon and in most cases a label. An arrow next to the icon and label indicates the existence of a list. The prompt bar is used for general system feedback, messages or user guidance. It is not active by default. To view the prompt bar, click View Tab, Window Group, Toolbars, Prompt Bar. When you um, start a comment on the ribbon, the dialog box opens. You can specify parts and assemblies for modeling operations using the structure browser. When you start working with annotation, you can also see the drawing browser and template browser. Browsers uh, can help you to select objects and elements, also hide and display all the elements. The structure browser allows to show details, activate search and every filter. The user input line is used to enter comments, general expressions or text. The status bar comments switch the full screen mode on and off, define a new view in window, display the last view, feed the context into the viewport, switch to previous application, show the alert history. The status bar also shows the current work plane and part and the current settings for The process of creation a 3D part with Creo Elements Direct Modeling Express can be divided into the following stages. First of all, prepare the design environment that includes work plane properties, geometry, color, measurement units, and so on. You can open the work plane properties using the structure tab and a uh, more button in uh, the work plane group of this structure tab. 
You can also set uh, the measurement units through the uh, units properties menu that is on the uh, on the bottom right side of the grow elements window. Then uh, the second step is to create a profile on the rock plane like cross sectional view of the part using to the geometry. You can uh, input uh, your create code dimensions, um, text uh, and so on uh, parameters in the input line on the left uh, bottom part of the window. One advantage of the new user interface for modeling is that now construction lines are less needed than before for making a 2D profile. Advanced 2D copilot that you can see right now helps much and facilitates quick and precise modeling. Creo Elements Direct Modeling Express provides a number of machining operations for creating a solid 3D part from a profile. You can open them in the modeling tab and model group of this tab. Like for example, pool. We can pull our pro uh, cross-sectional uh, profile in both uh, directions. Uh, then we select uh, both sides. We can um, rename a part. The default is the P1 uh, part. Uh, we can make this uh, pool operation linear or angular. In our case, we use linear one. Uh, you can use the structure browser at the left side of your window to rename the parts. to create new parts and so on. Moving objects uh, you can by means of the mouse uh, by holding the control and uh, left mouse buttons. Scroll mouse to change a scale of the image in the viewport. Rotating of the part is carried out by press left and right mouse buttons simultaneously.